Hello and welcome to segment 7 of video training overview of hyperspectral imaging technology. In this presentation, I will go over radiometric calibration. Here we have a radiometric calibration station. Let's show us on the picture. It's um, made of a 12 inch integrated sphere with a solar simulation uh, via a QTH lamp. We have the dark gain bad pixel map performed on sensor and spectrometer. And it's a NIST traceable calibrated radiometers. The radiometric calibration capabilities spectral radiometric calibration of hyperspectral imagers, the V-near, near, and SWEAR enable hyperspectral imager to output in radiant units. Instrument non-uniformity corrections, known as NUKE calibration, with the camera sensor pixel level calibration, with dark current gain operability, In this slide here, we have the radiometric calibration station components made up of 12 inch integrated sphere, um, calibrated halogen lamp, radiometric lamp power supplies, the motorized variable attenuators, the calibrated silicon detectors for Venier, calibrated in gas detectors for SWEAR, and motorized filter wheels and the narrow band pass filters. Here are the first principle calibration equation. You got the dn equal the desired radiance times uh, system gain and response, um, time exposure time of camera, uh, plus dot field measurements. We use the lens cap on it. This equation applies to every spatial and spectral pixels. Therefore, the calibration process also provides non-uniformity correction due to pixel response variation, slit imperfections. Again, it's the first principle calibration equation. You got the first order of uh, desired radians um, and the system gain plus the second order of um, undesired radians um, times the system gain and exposure time of camera plus the dark field measurements. This will conclude presentation. Thank you for watching.